All right, for a breakdown of this Calgary Flames victory and a, another tough start to the season for the Edmonton Oilers, here's Craig Button from Calgary. Craig got the Oilers 0-3 to start the season. I didn't think there was any way they could start as bad as last season, but here we are, the first 0-3 start for this team since 2015. What's your level of concern with the way the Oilers are playing right now? Yeah, I, I, I think the level of concern is on the offensive side of things, Jay. I mean, when you consider the offensive po firepower that they have, the offensive firepower that they went and signed with Jeff Skinner and Victor Arvidsson, and the offense is nowhere to be seen. And it's not just about, okay, they, had a, they hit a post, they had a goal disallowed that should have been counted in my view. But all in all, when you look at where you score goals and how you score goals, that's in the slot, the inner slot, high danger chances, cycle chances, board check chances. The Oilers are near the bottom of the league. And if you're not going to pay the price and you're not going to play hard and you're not going to dig in where the other team is defending hard, you're not going to score. And right now, the Edmonton Oilers offense, those offensive players, have to look at themselves. You can look anywhere else until they look at themselves and they decide that they're going to dig in. And they're going to compete inside that slot area, in and around the net. They're going to hunt for loose pucks. They're going to look for rebounds. That's when the offense will open up. But until that time, you're going to get what you've been got, what you've been getting in the first three games for the Edmonton Oilers. And you know when when you consider how much success they had right up until Game Seven last year, and even in Game Seven, they, they were all around the puck. They, they haven't been where it matters to score goals and really put the uh, opponents back on their heels. And if that doesn't change, nothing else will change either, Jay. But what about Craig? They've been outscored 15 to 3 over those three games. You know, you and I have talked about the D. Uh, they've got to figure that out. Lots of new faces. Uh, are you concerned about Stuart Skinner? Where, you know, you've got to be concerned about the defensive side of their game too, don't you? Uh, I think that... Uh, when you look at the goaltending in the first two games, it wasn't very good. I mean, the Winnipeg Jets, I mean, in th that game, not one Edmonton Oilers got a passing grade for me. So that means everybody was bad. Goaltender out. Second game, you know, Pickard wasn't, wasn't very good. I thought Stuart Skinner played a good game here uh, versus the Calgary Flames. Uh, to me, goaltending wasn't a problem. Certainly, you know, you look at some of the goals and you can look at defense. Three goals. Jay, what do they have? $78 million tied up in offense? <laughs> and we're going to blame the defense? Like, give me a break. I mean, the bottom line is this team is built on, I just said, offense. Yep. It's, it, it's got the, some of the best players on the planet. They, they went and got Skinner and Orbison to give more offensive thrust and more push. They haven't done it. And, until the offense improves, nothing else is going to improve. They're not paying the price. They're not going hard where you need to go hard. They're not getting in and digging in. And that's where it starts. It doesn't start with X's and O's. It starts in with, as my good friend Jim Player, Playfair would say, you better put your work boots on because it requires work to get results. The Oilers' homestand will wrap up Tuesday. They'll take on the Philadelphia Flyers and see if they can get their first win of this season. This is Craig Button.